Hey everyone, it's Mary from Performance Pilates. So we are gonna get started with our Tuesday workout today. We're gonna start with our pretty typical warm up. So go ahead, get on your mat if you're not already. Hug your knees and we're gonna rock side to side. So nice and easy, you're just massaging that lower back out. All right, feeling pretty good. We're gonna hug our right knee to our chest, left leg is out straight. And you're gonna alternate there. So nice and easy, we're just going side to side. Nothing crazy if you wanna have the leg, you're not pulling towards your chest down on the ground for that lower back, you can. Right, it's pretty simple. So we're gonna go about two more to each side. So here's one, here's two, here's three, and here's four. Now we're gonna have our leg up straight. So we're trying to grab behind that hamstring or calf. We're gonna alternate our legs there. Again, if you wanna have the leg, you're not pulling towards your chest down on the floor. Of course, right? We gotta wake up those hamstrings, wake up our core, right? And we're gonna get rolling today. Today's theme of the workout is how many things can we add on to this exercise? It's gonna be great, I promise. So you're gonna go one more to each leg. We're gonna relax those legs down and we're gonna do some bridges. So nice, easy inhale in, exhale, we're pressing up, squeeze those glutes. And we're just coming up nice and easy, up and down. Right, so taking your time, stretch out your back, wake up those glutes. Because we're gonna get off and rolling today, aren't we? We sure are. Right, so control is the name of our game. And in a second here, we're gonna get our arms involved with our bridge. So we're gonna do about two more here. So here's one. On our next motion, we're gonna press up, you're gonna hold. Arms come up straight, you're gonna let one arm come down, it's gonna come back up, and then the other. Right, so just nice and controlled, you don't have to go fast. If you're going way fast on this, it's just gonna burn your arms more than mine. So I don't care, go ahead, do it, see what happens. Okay, so just nice and easy, arms are nice and straight, you're still holding your bridge. You're gonna go one more to each arm. We're gonna bring our hands together. So you're acting like you're squeezing those hands together as much as you can. You're gonna bend your elbows, hands come to your head and back up, okay? So it's kind of like you're acting like you're doing a tricep motion here. You wanna make sure that you're constantly pushing those hands together so you're creating a contraction with those arms, right? We want those arms to be waking up. You're not just holding your hands nice and light, right? You want an active press between those hands. Okay, so nice and easy. We're gonna do three more. Here's one, here's two, Here's three, now you're just gonna hold, you're trying to push your hands together as much as you possibly can, right? Waking up those arms, waking up those triceps, waking up those shoulders. We will use them all today. And you got five seconds here. You got three, two, one, and you're gonna relax your hips on down, and we're just gonna go into a slow and controlled crunch. So hands are behind your head, elbows are wide, exhale, we'll crunch up, push that back down. Nice, easy, and we're coming back, right? So really focus on pushing your lower back down to the ground. You're keeping those elbows nice and wide, right? And you're just feeling good about it. Oh, yeah. So try to let your hands hold that head in place, right? You want to relax that chin off of your shoulder. Shoulder. Chin off your chest. Your chin can't go to your shoulder, I don't think. Okay? We got about 10 seconds, and then we're going to add, right? We're just waking up the old abs. Okay, so we're gonna do one more crunch. You're gonna hold your crunch. You're gonna bring your right leg up straight. Exhale, it comes down. Inhale, it comes back up. Right, so if your neck was hurting, you could keep your head down and focus on bracing that core. If not, try to stay up in that crunch. Right, and we're keeping our leg nice and straight. Exhale down, inhale up. We're gonna do three more, so there's one. Here's two. Here's three, you're gonna keep your right leg up, right hand stays behind, and you're reaching up with that left hand. Right, your goal is to touch your hand to your toes. If not, you have to redo this workout all day, right? I'm not gonna. Right, I touch my toes, you can't just, you just can't tell. Okay, we got 10 seconds, right? Try to stay up off that shoulder blade, it's a small crunch, you've got five, four, three, two, one, both hands are behind their head, left leg's out straight, you're gonna inhale, that leg comes up, exhale, it comes down, right? We're pointing our toe to actively wake up that leg. Right, and our leg is coming up and down, nice and easy. 
nice and easy. Right, make sure you're keeping that back down. Again, if you wanted your head down to help relax that neck a little bit, sure, go for it. Maybe you slept on your neck arm, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna do three more. Here's one, here's two, here's three. You're gonna keep that leg up, left hand stays behind, we're reaching up with our right hand. Right, so we're doing those small little reaches. You're trying to keep that right shoulder leg up off the ground and you reach, 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 and that's your name of the game, and that's your goal. We got 10 seconds here, right? We got five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna relax, and we're gonna go to our hands and our knees. So we're gonna have our right leg out straight. Make sure that your hands are underneath your shoulder. We're gonna raise and lower our right leg up down, okay? So make sure that you're looking straight down, try to keep those shoulders relaxed. You don't have to look at me. We're not adding anything to this move yet. We got about 10 seconds until we do, okay? You're doing a great job. You got five seconds. Okay, we got three, two, one. We're gonna keep our right leg up. Left arm comes up, left arm comes up. So you wanna go slow and controlled on this so you're not tipping over, right? Slow and controlled is the name of the game today, right? We're not gonna add too much to this. Okay, we got about 10 seconds, then we're gonna go right into our other side. Okay, you got five seconds. Almost there, we got three, two, one. You're gonna relax, left leg is out. We're raising and lowering our left leg up and down. Again, you're looking straight down, not hanging our head, right? We're holding on to that posture. So your core should still be nice and tight, okay? Okay, we're just grooving. And we got 15 seconds until we start adding in our arm again here. Oh yeah, I was hoping she'd say that. I know that's what you're gonna say. Okay, you're doing a great job, you got five seconds. Okay, left leg stays up, right arm's coming up, right arm's coming down. So it's nice and controlled, right? Taking your time with this movement, right? Your core is nice and tight. Of course it is, right? And we got about 10 seconds left, okay? You got five seconds. Gonna do two more, here's one, here is two. And then we're gonna relax. Okay, so what we're gonna do here next, we're gonna do a little bit of a plank warm up, and we're gonna do it like a Tabata. So a Tabata, you'll go 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and we have four different types of planks, okay? So I'm gonna show you the different types of planks. I'll show you how to modify, then we'll get started. So first one is just your regular plank. You're on your elbows and your toes, or drop those knees down. That's plank number one. Plank number two, you're tapping your toes. If you're on your knees, you'll tap back there. Plank number three, tapping your arms. Okay, if you're on your knees, tapping your arms. Plank number four, you're rocking forward and back. Same thing if you're on your knees, okay? So that is gonna be our motion, okay? We'll go 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're gonna get started in about five seconds here, okay? So set up for that first plank, go ahead and go. So make sure those hips are staying down, you're squeezing those glutes, you're squeezing your core, you're not letting your head hang down. We've got 10 more seconds, then we take a breather. Okay, you're almost there, you've got five, four, three, two, one, you're gonna relax, okay. So next one we're doing, we're just tapping our feet side to side, if you're on your knees, you'll kick out straight. Okay, we're going in three, two, one, and that plank, and you're tapping side to side, right? Either way you do it, doesn't matter if you're on your knees or toes, you're still tapping, you have 10 seconds. Okay, make sure you're breathing. Five seconds, you've got three, Two, one, you're gonna relax, okay. So next one we're doing, tapping our arms side to side on your knees or toes. We're going in three, two, one. So you're tapping to the side, tapping to the side, tapping to the side, tapping to the side, right? We're going side to side, you have 10 seconds. Then we take a breather. Okay, you're almost there, you've got five, four, Three, two, one, you're gonna relax. 
Last move we have is our racking plank. We're trying to rack as far forward as we can. And back. You're going in three, two, one. Racking forward and back. Forward and back. So your goal is to see if you can get your nose past your fingertips. You have 10 seconds. Okay, you're almost there. We got five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna relax. All right, so grab a quick sip of water here. So what we're gonna do, we've got four different sets. So for each move, we're gonna start with a basic step, then we're gonna add to it as we go, okay? So this first one we're gonna do, you would either be doing your roll up with your legs out straight, you'd roll up top and come back, or you're doing a slow control crunch if the roll up feels like too much for you, okay? Ready? And go. So we're gonna roll up, and you're gonna come back, okay? Thinking of that posture, if you're crunching, you're pushing that lower back down, every time you lift up, your elbows are still staying wide, okay? So we have 15 seconds. Okay, you're doing a great job. 10 seconds. You got five seconds. And we're gonna be adding to this, so get ready. Let's do one more. Okay, so what you're gonna do, it's gonna be almost like a tricep lift. Okay, so you're gonna have your left knee in. Okay, so we're gonna be using our right arm. You're gonna roll up. Your right arm is gonna push down to the floor. You'll raise your right leg up and come back down. Okay, so it's the same hand pushing off the floor as that leg coming in, okay? So you lift, push up. If you're modifying, you're just gonna go opposite elbow, opposite knee, okay? So go with what you need to do, right? And we are going to do our other side in 10 seconds here. Okay, so take your time. Try to lift your hips up off the floor as much as you can. Go ahead and do two more. There's one, right? Here is two. Okay, so right leg is bent, left leg's out straight, left arm is our pushing arm. You're gonna roll up, push up, come back, right? Roll, push and lift, and back. Roll, push and lift, and back. Roll. Push and lift, and back. Remember, if you're modifying, you're just doing your single leg, opposite elbow, opposite knee, okay? We have 10 seconds, right? We're almost there. Five seconds. Okay, so now we're gonna have to use our brain. We're gonna alternate between the two moves, okay? So you'll go left side, you'll come down, switch, right side, come down, switch. Left side, right, right side. If you're modifying, scoot your legs out and you're gonna do a long leg modified bicycle crunch, okay? So if not, you just keep on cooking, okay? Right, reach in, ooh, I fell down on that one. Right, and try to reach as much as you can. You have 10 seconds left, okay? Right, you're doing a great job. You're gonna go one more on each side. Here's one. Right here is two. You're gonna relax. So that was set one. Our next set we're gonna do is gonna be frog kicks, okay? So you have two options. Hands could be behind your back. You'll kick out until it come back or you would go without. Okay, I like to go without. You choose what you need to do. Ready? And up. So we're coming back and up. Back and up. Right? If you needed to, you could keep one foot down, right? And do that same motion. If your hands are helping you, it just makes it a little bit easier for you and for your back. Okay? 15 seconds. And then we're going to add to this. Okay, we got about 10 seconds to go. Right? We're almost there. You got five seconds, let's do two more. Here's one, here is two. So now we're gonna do elbow tappers. So you're gonna be in a V-sit position, okay, you're right here. You're gonna tilt back, and your elbows are just going side 
to side. So your focus stays forward. You're just twisting side to side. Go for it. Okay, so if you wanted to, you could have your feet up in the air like so, or you can keep them down, whatever feels better to you, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're keeping your core tight, your vision is staying forward, so your shoulders and torso twist, not your head, okay? You've got 10 seconds, and then we go into our combo. Five seconds, here's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna go frog kick, up, twist, twist. If you modify, hands are still behind, frog kick, you come up, twist, twist. Ready? Go. So you're back, you're up, twist, twist. Back, 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 up, twist, twist. We got 10 seconds. Okay, nice and controlled. Put those feet down if you need to on that twist. Okay, we got one more. Right, twist, twist. All right, okay. Second set is done. All right, grab yourself a water if you want. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. So our next motion we're gonna do is pike ups. Okay, so we're gonna build it into our pike up move here. Okay, so you're gonna be on your hands and your toes, okay? If you modify, you're gonna be on your knees. You would start a plank and shift your hips back, okay? If you're on your toes, you're here, you're looking up, right? Nice straight legs, coming back. Go for it. So you're up and you're back. You're up and you're back, okay? Squeezing those glutes, squeezing that core. You might even get a nice stretch every time you come into that pipe. That's a good news. Okay, you're doing a great job. You got 15 seconds. And then we're gonna add to it, okay? You got five seconds, so let's do two more. Here's one, you got one more. Here's two, you're gonna relax. Okay, I'm gonna tuck in my shirt so my shirt doesn't fall off. Okay, so what you're gonna add here, if you're modifying, you're gonna be in your plank, you're just gonna alternate kicking out a leg, okay? So what you're gonna do if you're not modifying, you're on your toes, you're gonna pike, your leg comes up, your leg comes up, you come back down, okay? So you're up, your leg comes up, leg comes up, go ahead and go, you come down, okay? Nice and controlled motions here, right? Every time you come up, try to keep those hips tight, point that toe, nice straight legs, Core is tight, head is not hanging down. 10 seconds until we add to this. So that's good news, right? Doing a great job, one more. Right, we're up, you're going up, and up. Okay, so now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a push up to that. So if you're modifying, you're gonna go one leg at a time, you're gonna lift your leg up, you would do a tricep push-up, come back, come down, right? And if you don't want to do the push-up, you don't have to, right? You could just raise and lower that leg, okay? I'll tell you when it's half leg. Okay, if you're not modifying, you're up on those toes, you'll pike up, we're gonna go leg, leg, pyramid push-up, back to plank, okay? Ready? So we're just adding a pyramid push-up. All right, up on those toes or knees, we're up, you're gonna go leg, leg, push up, back to plank. So pike up, leg, leg, push up, back to plank. Pike up, leg, leg, there's halfway if you're switching legs. Oh, push up, back to plank. So pike up, we got leg, leg, push up, Back to plank, right? Two more. Leg, leg, push up. Back to plank, last one. We're piking up. Leg, leg, push up. 
back to plank and you relax. Okay, there's that one. So we got one more. The last move, we are gonna be in a Superman position, okay? So your first move that you're gonna do, okay, if you're modified, you're gonna go opposite arm, opposite leg, or you're having both arms and legs come up, you hold for a little bit, come back down. Okay, pretty standard move right here. Ready? And go. So you're lifting, you squeeze, you come back. Lift and squeeze, come back. Lift and squeeze, come back. Right, nice and controlled motions here. You've got 15 seconds until we add in to this movement. Okay, five seconds. You're almost there. Okay, so now you're gonna lift. You'll come wide with your arms and legs, come back, come down. If you're doing opposites, just stick to one side, right? And then you do the other. Okay, you'll still go wide. Okay, ready? And go. So you're lifting, coming wide, coming back, coming down. Lift, wide, back, down. Lift, wide, back, down. And you don't have to go crazy wide, okay? The more you can control, the harder it is. Okay, lift, wide, and back. We have 15 seconds until we're on our final move, okay? 10 seconds. You're almost there, five seconds. Okay, so your next one, you're gonna lift up. You're going small, wide and back motions, okay? If you're doing a single side or a modified, stick to one side, I'll tell you when to switch, right? Yep, so you wanna go small and controlled. The smaller and quicker you can go, the more challenging it's gonna get. Okay, you're doing a great job. Stay lifted up, small controlled motions. Point those toes, point those fingertips. You're halfway there, so switch sides if you're modifying. And you have 15 seconds left. Okay, control, control, control. We are all about our control. Five more seconds. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Relax. All right. There you have it. There is your Tuesday morning workout. So I will be seeing you tomorrow, Wednesday, same time, 10 a.m. And we'll have a fun workout plan then. Hopefully you're able to go outside today and enjoy some of the warm weather. Great job. Keep it up. Drink your water. Do something that's going to make you smile today. Bye.